Welcome to another OUinsider.com podcast. Yes, we are doing the podcast. I'm joined by Brandon Drum, lead writer, OU Insider. Brandon, how you doing? Yeah, man. So, B, let's talk about your trip first because I know that's what people want to hear the most about. Um, I know you had a whole bunch of places that you wanted to go, but COVID-19 went ahead and screwed that all the way up. So, I know you went to go see Caleb Williams. You had a great write-up on that. And you went to see Mario Williams. You had a great write-up on that. What are some insights that you want people to pick up? Five-star and top 20. The making of a five-star and top 2021 quarterback. Uh, So both of those are human interest stories, kind of talking about their upbringing, talking about everything that's kind of made the light to – to get them to where they are today, uh, being the stars that they are and the people that they are, because it's really cool to know the recruitment of the kids. It's it's another thing to know the backstories, the 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 stuff that goes on behind the scenes for the last eighteen years, uh, the integral things that made and important things that made uh, the decisions to put them in the spot that they are and stuff like that. I mean. Those are the cool things that we get a lot of uh, insight on because of what we do, but the fans don't. So I kind of want to create that with these two big name guys uh, for OU Insider, CBS Sports, and 247 Sports. So we did a lot of that. Obviously, we still talked recruiting. Um, Oklahoma's in a really good spot for both of those guys. Mario Williams, a four star wide receiver out of Plant City, Florida, which is in the Tampa area. And then Obviously, the number one quarterback in the country, Caleb Williams, Oklahoma, sits. I would venture to say, if you haven't seen the crystal balls on 247 Sports, uh, Oklahoma is in a fantastic spot for him right now uh, after that visit. Uh, things went as good as they possibly could. Uh, questions were answered. Things were done. And then with Mario, uh, as far as visits go, he is posted – So. So there's reports out there that LSU is going to be a place he was going to be visiting. He looked at me and told me after he got – this is a funny story. So I, we walk into the weight room to meet him as we just talked to his baseball and uh, uh, head coach at uh, Plant City, the football coach, uh, two different guys, and uh, John Booth uh, and um, Coach Mike as the baseball coach. Uh, and we – we walk in there and um, he comes in and meets us, but he's on his phone. I said, I said, who are you texting? He says, he goes, actually, I'm not texting. I'm playing billiards. And I said, really? He goes, well, I'm playing billiards with Coach Riley. <laughs> so they were like going back and forth and he showed us and like, it's pretty funny. Uh, he beats Coach Riley in billiards and uh, Coach Riley kind of texts him or messages him back and says rematch. And so they did it all over again while we were doing uh, the photo shoot and talking and stuff like that. But I know that there was supposed to be an LSU official visit sometime this spring. Um, I'm not clear on the exact date of the official visit to LSU, but uh, his head coach and Mario both told Brian and I, Brian Bishop and I, our publisher, uh, that Mario is going to take an unofficial visit with his wide receiver coach at Plant City to OU for the spring game. That's the plan. So that'd be April 17th through the 19th. Now, obviously all this is in the, up in the air right now with everything that's going on in the world and everything that's shut down. So we don't know if this is going to happen. Uh, the official visit for Mario is the Baylor game, he says. So that, again, is stuff that if they can get him on campus. Now, if they can get that unofficial, I think Oklahoma sits in a spot where it could be like, hey, I'm going to, you know, quietly commit to you behind the scenes because OU is his top school um, and OU's offered a lot of the guys around him that are really close to him whether it's 2023 wide receiver Brandon Ennis um, a bunch of other guys that are, he's friends with in that Florida area uh, and then he said, some, said something to me I thought was really interesting as far as defensive backs goes uh, and, and Coach Booth said the same thing they were talking about Florida defense backs and Oklahoma coming in and Mario looks over at Brian and I, and he goes, you want to know who the best defensive back I've ever faced was? I said, who? And he goes, uh, Kendall Dennis. And I said, what? And he goes, yeah, man, I've faced all these dudes around the country. Kendall Dennis is the best I've ever faced. So I, that's good news for Oklahoma if he can pan out. I mean, obviously. But uh, high praise coming from a big-time wide receiver. And then Caleb 
obviously the trip went well. Uh, I got to meet up with him the day after they came back, and we did a whole walkthrough with the facility that his dad owns at Athletic Republic in D.C., where they train basketball, football, NFL combine, MMA, all this stuff. Whether it doesn't matter what position you are, they have the facility, the training stuff, everything. It's it's the most ridiculous setup I've ever seen, uh, as far as just normal athletic facilities go, um, and. Look, you can see why Caleb is trained and is the way that he is because he's got a village of people behind him. That's something I'm going to talk about in the story of just everybody is there for Caleb, and Caleb doesn't have an ego on him. And that's kind of the interesting thing about it. You would think a kid that grew up as well off as he did, wealthy, in downtown D.C., going to one of the top private schools in the country, he would have an ego on him. But he doesn't. He doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, doesn't do anything. He's just a good kid that just minds his business, has a uh, goal attained for himself, and he's working his butt off to reach it. And it doesn't matter if you're regular old Joe, he's going to make time for you, which I, I, I personally watched it, uh, which was really neat to see. So uh, I, he, we got a lot of good stuff coming on OUinsider.com in Oklahoma obviously sits in a really good position for Caleb. Um, an official visit will happen potentially spring game or and or whenever something happens this summer. So a, an official is going to happen to Oklahoma. If we have a spring game, which I know I got to be that guy, but uh, yeah, I think, go for it. I think, I, 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 I think, happen. yeah, I think most people are going to follow the CDC's guidelines for gatherings of 50 or more being a, a non-starter for two months. Till June. Till till, yeah. till May till May, mm. so we'll see what that. Which I means. think you could do it. You could do. It. They could just push everything back and have it. So you could go and then uh, have May and the beginning of June be your uh, springtime and your spring games, and then allow the coaches to go and do some sort of eval during July, all through the month of July. Like they can change the schedule, up, in my opinion. But you're to make this you're, work. You're also not. T- I, I think you're glossing over the academic calendar and, and how they got to yeah. they may got to make that work before they they make football work. But they are on, off off campus. Everything's working off campus right now. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm I'm thinking about walking. I'm thinking about finals. I'm thinking about uh, the logistics of how you close out the end of a year. Oh, that's fair. That's a fair. That's a good question. So no, I mean I mean I'm not I'm not trying to poo poo on your idea. I'm just trying to throw stuff at it that I think is going to have to be talked about. But if we get a spring game, I will be one of the people that's overjoyed by it for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Make sure you uh, not take it, take this stuff for granted. So if you are an OU fan and that's, and it does happen, you better show up and show out because this shows you right here, how quickly things can be taken from you. Just don't, uh, don't get Lee Bryce in here. Yeah, fair, fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not going. Yeah, that's me. I'm that's not a fan. I'm not a fan me. either that's, of that genre. Uh, that's but I'm, me. I'm, 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 I'm treading. I'm treading lightly on that. That's me. 